What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to show you five awesome experiments. Let's check this out. For this experiment we got here tennis balls and a tube. What we're going to do is just open this up, dump our tennis balls in a bucket like that, open the other half. We don't really need these cups, we just need a tube and a shock wok that is blows out. There's a quick instruction kit on how to use this, but we don't really need that. Just gonna blow right at the tube into here and then pick up the balls with the end of the tube and let's see what happens. This is my favorite experiment, so much fun. Full out of tennis ball cannon. Pretty awesome, huh? For this experiment we got here magnetic cannon. Let's see what it's all about. The box got a little bit messed up, but it's all good. Looks like all the instructions is in the back right here. And they pretty much did everything for me. So what we're going to do is grab these balls and load up into each one of them. Never mind, looks like I have to put two balls in each. Two balls in each like this. And now we're going to drop it and let's see what happens. Ooh, wow, did you see that? That was awesome. So this is why they give us a stick so we can push it back all these balls with the little stick and I set it. And then this one right here we're going to completely pull out. Boom. And now the cannon is ready to go again. Okay, let's do it from this angle. Whoa, that's awesome. Do you see that? So what it is, a piece of wood, metal, and there is neodymium magnet set here. Four neodymium magnets. So when we drop the ball, it hits it and we're going to have inertia hitting this magnet and chain reaction and this one flies away. Pretty awesome, right? Let's try to shoot it into the wall and see what happens. Awesome! Doesn't fly that far, but that's pretty cool. For this science experiment, we got here tornado tube. Let's see what it's all about. As you can see, it's screw on on one side and screw on the other side and there is a hole over here. So we will need two bottles, one full and one empty. This is two liters. So then we're going to put this cover on top of the full bottle and then we're going to put empty bottle on top of here and screw it on. This little plastic tornado tube makes it a really cool experiment. If you're just going to Keep it upside down, you see nothing happens, water is not going anywhere. But if we're gonna mix it, if we're gonna turn it like this, let's see what happens. Boom! We got a tornado and that way the water is going down to the other bottle. This is beautiful. I love this experiment, so simple but so cool. Again, if we're just gonna keep it upside down like that, you see the water is not going down. It just stays there. But if we're gonna turn it like that, let's see what happens. Boom! The tornado is going, the water tornado, and now it's going into the other bottle. How cool is that? I love this science experiment. And it's going quickly. This is definitely a really cheap experiment and anyone can do it. Look at this. This is so much fun. For this science experiment we will need CD, film canister, balloon and some kind of glue. This one the glue party. This science kit is pretty cool. 
and then we're going to stick it on the bottom right here. Now we're going to need some kind of smooth surface and then we're going to blow up the balloon. Just like that. And now look at this. We got the levitating CD with the balloon. The hoverboard, look at this. Awesome, huh? And once it's out of air, it doesn't really hover it anymore. Let's try this one more time. You see how it's hovering? Pretty awesome, huh? This is so cool, isn't it? And once the balloon out, it's not hovering anymore. For this experiment, we got here memory wire. There's uh, instruction how to use it. You see it's a little spring looks like. We're gonna pull it all apart and straighten it out. Just like this. All the way, you see? It's all straightened out. Now we're going to put boil water or hot water I'd say I just boiled it it's not boil anymore but it's still hot I'm just gonna put it inside of that you see it's still steaming you can tell it's hot now what I'm gonna do is put this wire and look what happens it's turning back in, into its original shape whoa how cool was that the water is still hot so I'm just gonna pull it out with the pliers Ah! So we got this wire and pull this apart and crumble it up even more this time. Now once again you see how messed up this wire is? We're gonna throw it in hot water and see what happens. Boom! It came back where it's in original position. Wow, look at this. Kinda got tied up on one side, but it's in original position again. Wow! So much fun. Let's mess it up once again so once again I messed up this wire pretty badly remember it was like a spring now it's nothing looks like a spring now let's try to put it back in the hot water and see what happens this time I'm gonna go slowly wow look at this and just putting it in the original shape again crazy right it's still the same how it was. I love this experiment. And it says Tesla on it. It's awesome. Now I'm going to get a piece of paper and turn it on and 